Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. We're out here at CDA 2022. We're at the SVS booth. We got my buddy. Uh, Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. We're out here at CES 2022. We're at the SVS booth. I got my buddy Nick. He's gonna let you guys know in the all the ins and outs of the brand new gear coming out this year. We're gonna do it right at the intro. All right, Nick, what's going on at SVS this year? What's up, Chris? Hey, we are uh, super excited to be on the show floor here at CD Expo 2022. We got lots to show off. Uh, highlighted here right behind me by our SVS Prime Wireless Pro powered speakers. This is our second iteration of wireless audio gear. Uh, what we have over here is a 200 watt, uh, 50 watt times four bookshelf speaker. And uh, we added some new flavor since the first iteration of the Prime Wireless, really trying to bring a true hi-fi solution for modern audio files and all in one package uh, with the amplifier. As far as the wireless streaming goes, uh, you can do hi-fi over Wi-Fi with the DTS PlayFi app. Uh, we also added AirPlay 2 and Chromecast for those Android users to give you a little extra option, and then also Bluetooth for people who maybe don't care quite as much about sound quality. Uh, another couple cool features we added for this uh, next go-round was a uh, front panel interface here that's get rich data, get your album information, your track information, as well as uh, input. Uh, we added an IR remote, again, to give you just another layer of control outside the smartphone app and the I front panel. I see the audio quest back here. I see that too. Uh, trying to get that fidelity locked down. Uh, and then for connectivity, we added HDMI. I mean, that was a big one for us uh, as far as a soundbar killer. These things will absolutely rock as a stereo system or soundbar replacement in a small home theater setup. So uh, it really has uh, sort of everything you would need to replace uh, a rack of audio gear and give you a nice all-in-one solution. Price for these are gonna be $899 for the pair. And uh, the only thing I didn't mention, and this is an important one, from the first one, we made them bigger, gave them bigger drivers so these babies can dig down a little bit deeper with the low frequency extension. And, yeah, uh, that's one thing I wanted to mention. Whenever I heard these from from before, I think it was at Expona, the bass that fills the room is just so much so much better with these. It's more even and uh, and welcoming. And then you can even pair it with a subwoofer if you wanted to, but you don't even need it. It's a good call. I didn't mention the subwoofer output. And uh, the only other thing I'll mention, unlike a lot of the wireless mono solutions that are out there, this is a true stereo solution. So you're always going to get two speakers. You get the benefit of that rock solid pinpoint imaging uh, from having a true stereo pair. And uh, it's uh, very exciting for us to announce here at Cedia Expo. They'll be shipping just around the end of October. So can't come soon enough. What's up with this uh, big old subwoofer stack over here? So, I mean, we are SVS and we had to make a presence known with, uh, with the subwoofers. So we got uh, our ported models and our sealed models represented here, uh, starting with our largest PV16 Ultra subwoofer, which I know you know something about. And then yeah. uh, topping it off with our newest compact 3000 micro subwoofer. A uh, few things that tie all of our subwoofers together is uh, the Bluetooth control app, it's a very innovative feature we've added, and now every single subwoofer in the SVS lineup carries that. You can do all your uh, tuning, parametric EQ, polarity, room gain, and custom presets if you want to have maybe a nighttime mode or a, a sleep mode for uh, controlling the bass and the output that way. Um, got the piano gloss finish here, 10 layers of hand-applied lacquer, and uh, signature SVS drivers and all of these. Uh, Ported models use what's called an overhung driver. Sealed uses an underhung. This really just maximizes the benefits of each. Uh, ported being that sheer, just room-shaking, chest-thumping output, whereas sealed with the uh, accuracy, quick transient response, and musicality, as uh, people like to say. So uh, they've been getting a lot of pictures taken, maybe not as many as the uh, beast <laughs> that you brought out here, uh, but we've seen a lot of people posing here with the sub, so <laughs> trying to have some fun with that. And you guys obviously sell speakers too. Yeah, we got our uh, three tower speakers here, our Ultra Tower, Prime Pinnacle, and our Prime Tower on display. Just kind of show that we're a full-on audio brand. And if you follow me over here, uh, one of the fastest growing parts of the SBS business is actually our accessory line. Newest accessory we got is a HDMI 2.1 certified cable. Uh, it works up to 8K, so all the latest formats are supported by our new HDMI cable. Uh, we've since added balanced XLRs as well as optical to go with our normal speaker cables and our subwoofer cables. Yeah, and take then, that, Imativa. <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, one of our most popular accessories is our SoundPath subwoofer isolation system which I had people coming over here uh, telling me how they've used it on turntables and tower speakers, yep. and another guy who's actually added them to every piece of electronics equipment he's got. Yep. Uh, and then ravening it off to our wireless audio adapters, uh, which run at full range, so you can either use those to make a wireless subwoofer connection or a pair of powered speakers, uh, because they are full range, add some wireless connectivity to that. Last thing I'm gonna show you is right over here. 
So this little bad boy is the Sound Base Pro. So all the features that I mentioned with the Prime. Hey, powered, I didn't know you guys were doing that. Yeah, all the Prime powered bookshelf speaker features are in here as well, except this is a 300 watt two channel wireless stereo integrated amplifier. And it's tiny too. It's Well, I got tiny hands, so that's not really <laughs> showing you guys much. So it's got, you know, all the same options, HDMI, line level, optical, as well as Chromecast, AirPlay 2. Uh, it's 300 watts as opposed to 200 watts for those. So it can push anything from bookshelves, like we got our ultra bookshelves here, uh, up to towers. And uh, it's a great little powerful sort of mini AV receiver component uh, that you could use in a home theater sort of two-channel setup or have it powering a uh, just a pair of speakers in a, in a hi-fi system. Right now we're running it with our newest and first architectural subwoofer that we've ever offered. This is actually going to be available early 2023. Uh, it's got dual 9-inch woofers, uh, comes with a separate amplifier. Cool thing about that amplifier is that it can actually power two of the subwoofers at one time at 400 watts or do a single subwoofer application at 800 watts. Uh, same feature set as we have with our other subs with the Bluetooth app control, Class D amp, 800 watts RMS, 2500 watts peak power. So this is going to deliver a legitimate SBS subwoofer experience and we could not be more excited because I know these Cedia folks, they love their architectural gear. So this will be shipping, like I said, early 2023. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up from the booth here at CDA 2022 SBS. You guys know I love these guys. Super, super fantastic subs. We got all of them stacked up right here just for your viewing pleasure. Like Nick was talking about, it's not necessarily the most photographed thing of the, the, the convention, but uh, I, I do know a subwoofer that is. But if you guys haven't checked out this uh, 3000 Micro, highly recommend doing it. I actually spec'd out two of them in the Hisense booth over there whenever I designed it. So uh, <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's all. <laughs> that I want to say today. I'm getting pretty loopy. I need to go, 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 go sit down or something. But appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.